Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Thursday, and I don't, very rarely, I don't know if it's an intuition. It used to be our orange shirts all the time that we wore, but you got us some new, uh, and let me just say this. These feel really good, man. They're the they're the they're light the, they're the light light fleece yeah the light fleece and it is actually <laughs> absolutely perfect for days like today because it's a little chilly but it's just enough on there that you don't have to bundle up so I really appreciate that they they look really good backyard on them if y'all can see them man if whoever makes them becomes a sponsor we'll tell you who they are <laughs> just throwing that out there just that doing it big uh, shout out. I know you. that's probably exactly what you're going to say. Okay, I was going there. Phoenix. The Phoenix. The and when Phoenix. I say that, they went away from the Phoenix Ballroom a little bit because they're doing a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of stuff. And Kyle does all the iron work over there. And if you see barbecue burgers and beer on one side and the brand new, big, huge. Here it is. Here's that picture I took yesterday. There it is. Mr. Kyle Walton did all that. I'm just saying, all those metal signs, he cuts. I'd already us. fixed my hair, Kyle. Sorry. Yeah. But I, uh, Russell came in, and we're going to go. We got a different sponsor we're talking about today, but he gave everybody hats. And he was like, man, we all y'all wear hats on the show? And I was like, yeah, we got Kyle's. We got Russell. If you got hats or shirts, we got no problem wearing it if you're a sponsor. You know what I mean? So, if you're a sponsor? Yeah, if you're a sponsor. Don't send us nothing if you ain't a sponsor. But yeah, we'll... We'll wear it and, and, and stuff like that, but I don't we'll get into our sponsor a little bit later. But I wanna I wanna go into You got one? I got one. Because I got one too, yeah. You go first. Planning. God Being dang. A planner. Wait a second. I swear I we don't talk about the show. We do not talk about the show ever <clears> until <throat> we get here. My deal was do you set yourself a schedule to plan for the day. Oh my God, that is exactly what I was gonna talk about. Go. I get up in time to <sighs> knock out a little bit of work where I don't have to rush. This is not work. Sometimes you gotta knock that out though, but it can be kind of like work. Yeah. Knock out a little work, breakfast. Uh, she gets to sleep a little late, so I'll go in there and make her some waffle, you know, those cinnamon waffles or or cereal, whatever, oatmeal, take my time, eat mine, relax, watch a little sports center, shower about 20 till 9. Right. Be ready to leave at 5 to 9 to be here at 9. Correct. Well, this morning, I wake up to a text, hey, John Wolf wants to announce by Friday, which is tomorrow. Which I already saw the banner. <clears throat> And Blackhawks confirmed. So I got up out of bed, went in there, got a text from you. Hey, my two clients aren't coming this morning. Come on. Come on. And I went. Got two banners to do and still got a shower. I'm a planner. Yeah. And I know after this show, Hope's coming over. Yep. We're going to do equipment stuff. After that, I'm headed down to another place that if they wanted to be a sponsor, I'd say I was going down there. They do wraps and right, right. banners and stuff. Right. And needs a little help with some Photoshop. Right. Then I will stop by the bar. And then I will eat lunch about 12 o'clock. Are you going <clears> to <throat> cryo today? If you can fit it in. If, if between I lunch and bowling. I was thinking about going before bowling. I was thinking about that too. I was thinking, thinking about, about that too. We'll do but that. But we'll do that. most of the time, I know what I'm doing. I agree. Throughout the day. I agree. That gets. I was going to talk about that today. You got a plan, man. And and just like you, we have we do the show at nine o'clock every morning. I train two people prior to that, mm -hmm. and then we set out on. Now our plans might change, and but I want to know: Are you guys planners? And for people that are going to go, nope, I just get up and go to work. I don't care. I come home, and after that, I figure out what I'm going to do. If you are not working for someone, that's when you have to be a good planner and multitasker, I believe. And have a, a little bit of drive or you can just lay around and do yeah. nothing all day. Yeah. I mean, till lunch every day, which I kind of like, our mornings are full. 
Right. Our mornings are full till lunch. After that, then we can start like with Hoke and, and the equipment and getting ready for the new Red Sea project. Mine used to be busy till like two or three, but I used to not get up till nine. That now is. I get up at seven thirty and have that extra hour and a half in there to and and you know when what? we work out in the morning I get up at six thirty. Does that not y'all make did a y'all difference? hear that? Yeah. Six Does 30. that not make a difference? Makes the days long. When you have nothing to do. Ah, yeah, ha, ha, ha. If you're done by one or two. Yeah. It, those, those, are, those are tough. Those are, are tough. But I want to know if you guys are planners. If, if you plan and you know what? your day. Do you know something that goes along with planning? What? Showing your ass up on time. Oh, we're not getting into pet peeves. It's not a pet peeve. It's a... Out of respect, you should be on time. You, I don't understand how people are late. I'll be honest. I don't understand. Five minutes late? I don't understand. But posting to meet at nine and you hadn't left the house yet? I don't understand that. I, there's a few people we could name. Oh, there's a lot of people we could name. I mean, if we wanted to say Gary's name, we could say Gary's name. But I'm not going don't to. Don't say Gary's name. And don't even give us a text. That's the thing. Technology, you want to reenact it? <clears throat> man, Gary's supposed to be here at 9. It's 9.30. Yeah, call Gary. Ring. Hello. Hey, Hello. man. Hello? 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 Hey, it's 9.30. You're supposed to be here at 9. Yeah, yeah, I was just, I was, I was, I was walking out, I was walking out the door. I just, I just started my car and I was already on the way when you okay. called. All right, all right. Okay, okay go right. back to sleep and we'll see you when you get, actually get up. Oh, uh, okay. I'll see you later, Chris. That's Gary every time. <clears throat> he don't even clear his throat. Every time. <clears> throat> yeah. Hello? He goes, uh, every time. What is so hard? It's Wednesday. I had to work Monday. Yeah. What is so hard about time management? I understand if I call Chris at 5.30 and I say, we're going to go eat at 6, and he goes, I'll try to be there that if you, if that time runs right. short. Dude, she didn't get home to 5.45. We had to, <clears throat> but he'll either text me or call me. But when I go at 9, 10 in the morning and go, hey, we're going to go eat at El Chico's today at 6, y'all in? Yeah, if we're in, we'll be there. You're going to be on time. Yeah. Time management, planning, that's a great... If we're going, we went to, we've been to New York, we've been to, uh, I went to Vegas a couple weeks ago. All that stuff is printed yeah. and put in an envelope and laid on my desk months and months in advance. With the date on it, with the time on it, what time you're leaving. There's another copy on my phone because I am afraid to be late. Yeah. Well, especially for stuff. Like, I'm, I'm with you, man. I don't. It's so easy to if we got a meeting meeting at the backyard 11:30, we'll meet there at 10:45. I got here today at 9:07 or so. Yep. I got through. I got done. I'm putting my shoes on. I look. It's 8:57. I went. I'll be a couple minutes late. No big deal. But let me back up and go get my phone. Go back. I'm like, shit, now I'm going to be late. And it made me like, yeah. you don't care if I'm five minutes late, but to me it was, ah, dang, I'm going to be late. But it's a deal of where you are instilled work ethic from your <clears throat> parents, grandparents, or the people you're around. You're instilled time be there on time, be respectful, a good handshake, yes sir, no sir. And there's a lot of people that don't have that given to them. I think I think sports has a lot to do with it sports. too because you this day and time it's it doesn't matter. I go to Caden's game, they just show up whenever. Yeah. When we played, you better be there whatever time before Early. they said to be there, yep. whether it's 15 or 30 minutes, you better have your uniform on. You better you know, <clears throat> not forget your jersey, not or you don't get to play. And but it don't mean, remember. It doesn't matter the magnitude of the game. They, they stuck by. It. They don't. That's exactly right. They don't do that now. And your parents understood. He didn't bring his shoes today, so he ain't playing. Sorry. It's not. Oh, you know what? We'll have Johnny take his shoes off and give it to him because that's what you need to do with your. Got a story to tell. That's why got kids. Marissa was in the third grade. And Blossman 
I think was the teacher's name. Went and met with the teacher. She was just now going out to uh, South Bosque. Right. And the teacher went. Blah, 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 blah. She said, I don't want you to be a helicopter parent. I don't want y'all to be helicopter parents. Right. Uh, okay. Could you explain that, please? She went, if they forget their homework, they know they're in trouble. Right. So they want to get on the phone, go to the office, call you, and you fly it up here in your helicopter. And she went, don't do it. Also, you didn't she have went, a helicopter. She went, it's third grade. Yeah. Let them have a zero. Let them get 20 points taken off. But teach them not they to gotta forget. Bring it. Yeah. And don't think that they can call mom and dad every time they forget something and they helicopter it up there. And I never forgot that from, from that day through the rest of it. And, you know, I'm not saying I didn't at times. Right, I get it. But, but it was the, not if it was time. just a daily deal, ah, I am can't, can't make it today. If it was a big project, well, I, you know what? I'm coming by there. Not that I'm making a special trip. I'm headed that way anyway. Did, I'll bring it by. But she didn't learn that in the third grade because she called the other day, need you to run by and do that U-Haul. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's like her daddy when it comes to that. He would rather get Russell to bring the U-Haul. She got me. You got me. I know you watch, girl. You got me. She's smart. That third grade teacher, they taught him a lot more. And that's another deal, planning. I mean, it it goes to from everybody, man. Plan your day. Plan what's going to happen. And then go, the, the person that's going to comment on this is going to go, well, plans change. What if I'm... They sure do. Then you, they have, do. you have technology to tell me you can't make my meeting or you're going to be late to my meeting. My kitchen employee... My dad was sick in Oklahoma City. I did not have time to call or text. I had to leave Waco and get up there. Well, you called and texted all that. <laughs> you only had four and a half hours till you got there. Uh -huh. But okay, that's, that's cool. And another thing if you're planning this. Yeah. If you're planning any welding work or welding fabrication work, our you boy. can call our boy at Flying B. Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr at the Flying Bee. As you can see, his, his sponsor Bam. there today, right there. He's our sponsor of the day. And he is also helping us push the Dirt Glory series from Amazon Prime because he does do, I don't know if he races anymore, but he does a bunch of that crap out there. And we will need his skills coming up on the new, not going to tell you what our new project is because i got a few things that have to be welded for production use. Okay. So sounds like I will be hanging in air by uh, something. I uh, hope that uh, flying bee fabrication can uh, something's gonna happen put together well. Something's gonna happen. <clears throat> Got big faith in air. Got big faith in air, Mr. Aaron Bird. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> you need something welded, you need something fabricated. There's his number. Call him. Hit him up. You saw him on the show. We got to keep these sponsors around. So I got. I, I know he's going to get some work from somebody because I got stuff that has to be done for you. Right. For the safety of the stock. And for you. The sponsors give us a little bit of money. Y'all know. Y'all watch the show. 100 bucks a month yep. to get their name out there. So if you have welding work, if you have any of the other sponsors work, think of them first. Yes. Think of our people first. I don't care if you think you can fix it. Think of our people first. Yep. So today, watch, like, share we'll post uh john wolf and all that next week because it's just going to be i think it's in in may right yeah it's in may so we'll, we'll post that we still got kevin fowler's and all that and remember today today at lunch as i was putting in the lunch special it is the loaded baked potato it is the loaded baked potato and let right. me just say it is good it is hey and good. i made a mistake it's who's your brothers and branded heart this weekend who do we say we said rewind no, I said Phoenix Theory. Yeah. Next, next yeah. week is Brett Hendricks and Phoenix Theory. Yeah. So yeah, I, yeah, I was yeah, a week yeah. ahead. Yeah, Brandon <laughs> Hart. That's right. March 4th. That's March 4th. So watch, like, share, and until tomorrow, which we won't either one be here. Nope. Be back on Monday. I am Russ. This is Chris. And I'm planning on sleeping in tomorrow. After bowling. We are out.